Pep. Then body turn, sack it, drop, ah, boom, forward your booty in line. Go backwards, right in line. So it pun in with some movement with your body. Like that one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Back. Keep your hand like this, turn your body. Okay? Turn this way. Hurry out, don't lean. And everything sure is important to know where everything is. Yeah, if you go like that and then go like that on them, or go like behind them like that. Like that, grab and attack. Forward, grab. We need to turn the elbow here. Okay. Then everything we test, everybody's different, so we've got to train like that to make sure the hand is up, to make sure the line of end. It's like it need in here to able to, to, to work like this and line. Learning or not, uh, and make it work or not. And this is the only way to test it out and create power. Same thing you're chopping, turn this side, kick, line here. Make sure you're in line. This is the same like when you practice the <coughs> hand. <coughs> All right. this training here, back straight here. So try to force coming in, I ground my leg. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, make sure to subscribe to me before you enemy do and hit the goddamn bell. Otherwise, I come round and snap your ball so hard that the bell will ring in your head every day. Ow! On this video here, I will go through with you onto the basic punching drills that you've done. And then what we do is we put a drop coming, drop coming in, and center punch. Now, a lot of this movement you practice on your own already onto the basic, onto the first level, uh, on the basic training, or the palm, or the punch, or the movement. On the second uh, movement, on the, uh, on the first level, on the second phrase of this, is helping you to understand with your partner how to locate where all the punches and make it work for you. So it's important to understand this. Let me show you how, how to do them. Let me bother you, uh, Jim. Now when you work with this movement here, we work a lot on this punch roll here. Why we do a lot of punch roll? Um, it's because a lot of time when you in the real situation, they always punch you. This is what you get familiar with, yeah? And that is the line uh, when you get familiar with because from here, it's easy for you to attack. So uh, later on, when the pun comes in, it's like it needs in here to be able to, to, to work like this and line, uh, make you to react thing. And then when you go to the second level, you work a lot onto the chi sao side, chi sao, chi sao, and then um, all this like different kind of energy drill to locate all them together to make sure all the movement functional. So this is why on this one here, we practice on into the punch a lot to get your hand to understanding where everything is first. Now when you turn the punch already, you drop. And this time we go inside to drop him and punch him. Now when you're trapping, this is what you need to understanding. Everything has to go together with a fit and this hand come in here, okay, and then attack. A lot of time when you're chopping like this, the hand is not always stayed as the way they come out. This is why this hand here, the elbow here, have to be in there, enough there to always come in. Now, as soon as the attack coming in, my hand is already coming here to able to use that line to chopping him, and that hand here can be break very easily. So, when you chop someone uh, to for this particular center punch coming in here, you have to close the gap in like this. Yeah, so attack him. Two things you need to bear in mind here. One is, if he's strongly forced up, you got to make sure that your gum so, gum so, it's got to be gum. Meaning if you light, push it up, it's going to be come up straight away because it's very light. When it gum so, meaning force the pressing hand, so push it up, it's harder for him. Then I can attack. Now, if he's good enough here and he move hand out of the way, then my Elbow will land. See, this is where you have to understand when you're here, when your elbow's here, in line. Elbow out of the way, your ball showed the elbow here will land straight here. Soon that lands straight, if you're attacking, your hand is ready to cut here, or when you hear the hand come hook, your hand can become a cost like that. Reality term is when that land, when you attack, I'm ready straight away drop right into his throat here, and my hand is in line here. Okay? Now, when you have your hand here, it's not going to be loose because palm for me, palm is hard because he tried attacking, palming, hitting. It's all this hit, it's all this happening. So all this here, you've got to make sure strong enough here. Yeah? If we start to palm, come in, I start to able to arm breaking from here. We're not going into too much of this detail at the moment because um, 
you won't understand it yet. So what we got to do to let you understand the, the, the point, the problem, you will come across while, while you work with this trapping. Sometimes when you go in here, you go like this, and that hand is there, okay, loose, and you can't hit him yet. Reality term is, when you're trapping, it's quite difficult to make sure that are clean, okay? So when that's happening, you're already here, for instance, or when that's happening, you're already here and you're changing and attacking here, for instance. So don't really matter if you don't get yourself that clean enough to able to make this happen. But for training purpose, it's good to make sure you understand in a line. So you hear, cross, elbow come in here, attack, okay? Body in the side, attack that, punching, center punch. The center of you come into here, so you control the line, okay? This is where we're working on a minute. Job, step in, inside here, punch coming here. When you're moving back, you're moving back together with the hand, okay? This is where you find the problem when you work with your partner, is he coming in like that and he's moving back, you're coming in here, okay, together with the hand. Now, unfortunately, sometimes when you come and try to hit me low, for instance, your body, this is where you're learning the hand position, of the hand position coming in like this, to cover the lower gate, okay? That will be covered without using too much movement. They all coming in, they all coming in to break in the fist, the wrist out of the way. But when you're training with this movement here, I just try to helping you to understanding the line, attack straight away, boom here, and then move, you chop, and then punch. This is where you can't not see something below coming here. This is where the hand come in, like that. Break that hand down the way, okay? And that way it's easier for you to change in here to using this size here, and then hand break. Very simple. But you have to make sure you're understanding the older position where the hand, how to defend, okay? So now let's go slowly again. Chop, feet coming in together, okay, in here, in line. Hand from inside, grab here, and then attack, okay? Few more. Chop, step, and punch, okay? Hand in line here, don't lean toward it. Hand in line here, got a problem, that's him, you're changing from here. Okay, if you try to punch, that's when you come in here, that's when you can come across that here, across that here, on the side. Exactly the same that you already done on a punch roll, like that, on a grab. Why sometimes you see me grab this way, and sometimes this way? Because I'm here, it's easy for me to break the arm. All that will come to you as the time come when you work, okay? Then you go opposite side, same, exactly the same way, chop this hand inside here, Change the feet and the hand inside like this, and then you attack, okay? Move under the way, elbow. Okay, this is where you can see the hand here. When I'm here, if your hand move away, I elbow here. And that's when I come in here, okay? Attack low here, this way. This hand comes straight into here, and then easy for me to able to hit him, okay? Or changing the hand here. And that's where I can slap the arm. Same principle. Job, change the feet, hit. Okay, and then when that hand coming on, on a cross like that, it's very easy for you to able to change, or very easy for you for able to come across like this. So back again. Here, change and attack. When the movement coming in to work, you always remember, distance, keep it away. Don't get too close to the movement here, and then go in like that, and when the suit come in, you can't see it. Okay, so when you're working with this drill here, here, Back here, when that cross, you can see the distance coming in and that hand coming in, and hand will be, will be slapped. But at the moment, don't need to worry about the hand coming out yet, okay? All you need to worry about is attack first. First hit first. If you start to move, then you need to worry about that. That's not really big deal. So spend a little bit of time changing line, cross in line, okay? Practice mainly line crossing. Same thing that we were here, carry on, here in line, cross, here, and then come back again. Changing the hand, cross, and movement. Changing the hand here, cross, and the movement here. Okay, thank you for that. Spend a little bit of time practice to get your hand functional for you, understanding where everything is. So it's easy for you to manipulate the movement.
uh, a lot of this movement, what we're going to do, we're going to update them all the time for uh, these training courses so you can understand a bit more all the movement, where and everything is. It can be very, very um, deep, a lot to be a lot to explain to you because while you training, you come across with all sorts of problems. So problem can be answered uh, by um, asking so we can able to help you all this question. Watch and fool this again if you need to. I see you in the next video. In there, mate. Have to read my book. Remember, train hard, live clean, and don't let anyone bully you again. Time, place, and a method attack.